The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hey guys, how are you? This is Jill. Welcome to our webinar. If you can hear me, please go ahead and um, give me a uh, heads up by letting me know with a yes or I hear you fine, Jill, etc. in the chat box to the right. Okay, I'm getting a couple of messages that you can hear me just fine. That is great. And more and more people are signing in. We're here a little bit early, and I just thought I would do a little bit of eyelash trivia for those of you who are here early. And um, for those of you who want to have a little fun before our webinar starts about volume lashing. So a little eyelash trivia. This is about eyelash extensions and eyelashes in general. So, and we even threw in an anatomy question for those of you who are kind of geeked out out there and really know your stuff. Our first question is, silent film director D.W. Griffith is said to be the inventor of false eyelashes for his 1916 silent film. And which was it? Was it of mice and men? Was it intolerance, otherwise known as love struggle throughout the ages, or a movie called Captive Wild Woman? You can type in your answer into um, the chat box, or you can just answer on your own for your own good fun. Either way, We'll give you a couple of seconds to consider this or to search online for the answer, perhaps. <laughs> the answer is intolerance, loves struggle throughout the ages. So he actually had a uh, wig maker make false eyelashes for his star in the movie, and it started a snowball effect through the ages. The beauty industry just went with that and ran rampant with it. Um, of course, um, all kinds of beautiful false eyelashes, um, or strip lashes we call them, uh, have been used since then, and even then now, 11 years ago, our wonderful eyelash extensions. Here's our next trivia question. Eyelash extension adhesive dries or cures in the presence of A, nitrogen, B, oxygen, or C, hydrogen. Now, we all know that eyelash extensions adhesive is actually an acrylic product. It's an acrylic resin. So it doesn't exactly dry, that's why I put it in parentheses, it cures. Um, glue dries as it, you know, evaporates. But our it had, um, eyelash extension adhesive actually cures. So what do you think the answer is? A, nitrogen, B, oxygen, or C, hydrogen? And for those of you who are just joining us, I see the numbers climbing up um, as we as we speak. I want to say hello to a couple of you. Hello, Rochelle and Sandy. Terry's here, Teresa Woods, glad you made it, Teresa. Uh, Wilma Weber is here, Rachel Norton, Pamela Sanders, hello Pamela, nice to see you. She's an alumni from our previous Volume Effects Boot Camp. Uh, we got a Natalie, Nicole's here, Nancy, Miranda, Mia. Thanks guys for carving time out of your busy schedule. Um, to join us for this webinar. Right now we're just doing a couple of uh, little trivia questions. If you know the answer to this, go ahead and type the answer into the chat box, A, B, or C, or just answer on your own as well. You can do that too. Eyelash extension adhesive dries or cures in the presence of A, nitrogen, B, oxygen, or C, hydrogen. And the answer is hydrogen. You actually need moisture 
to cure your adhesive, believe it or not. And that's why we talk about curing the adhesives instead of just simply drying them. Thanks for those of you who are telling me that you can hear me well. Um, you know, um, someone, Nicole asked, will I need a camera or is it PowerPoint only? Um, whatever device you're watching our um, trivia now and then uh, our webinar in just a couple of minutes from, you'll, you'll need to see this as well as hear it. If you are just listening in on your phone with your earphones while you're working or while you're multitasking, that's okay too. You'll be able to see the pictures. Um, in our live recording, and we are recording right now as we speak. A couple more trivia questions for you. Here we go. Eyelash extensions originated in A, Russia, B, South Korea, or C, the good old USA. What do you think the answer is? Go ahead. You can write it into the, the boxes there. Some people are answering and they're putting question marks after it or double question marks after it. It's just like I could hear their written little voice in their thought bubble go up like, hmm, see? <laughs> uh, the answer to this question, eyelash extensions originated in, is South Korea. So if you answered South Korea, give yourself a pat on the back. You are in the know. Um, eyelash extensions came to the US about 11 years ago. So it's a fairly new industry, although we are gaining steam and gaining speed. We're like a locomotive train, you guys. We're not going to be stopped. I used to call this a niche industry or a niche industry, and now it's a full-grown billion-dollar business. It's uh, just it's an industry in itself, eyelash extension, and eyelash enhancements, we'll say that. Here's another question for you. This is for you eye anatomy experts. What is the function of the Mueller's muscle? Does it help you wink and blink? Does it help you raise your eyebrows? Or is it the muscle that opens and closes the iris of the eye? What do you think? What is the function of the Mueller's muscle? Miranda just finished a client, and she's excited to be here. I'm excited that you are, too. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, all of you who are just kind of trickling in the door right now as we're just about to get started. We're just um, doing a little pre-party fun with some eyelash trivia. What is the function of the Mueller's muscle? Does it help you wink and blink? Does it help you raise your eyebrows? Groucho Mark style, <laughs> or is it the muscle that opens and closes the iris? The answer is, it's the smooth muscle that allows you to wink or blink, actually raising and lowering the upper eyelid. So now you know. Here is a true or false question, and I bet you all of you are going to get this absolutely correct. True or false, if you do a patch test with your eyelash adhesive and the client does not present any reaction or sensitivity in that first 24 hours, that means that they will never develop a sensitivity or allergy to the adhesive you're using. True or false? I see lots of falses being written in. False, 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 false. False. Someone spelled out. <laughs> yeah, laugh, laugh out loud. I wish. I wish to. Actually, the answer is false. Um, a patch test could be required by your governing law. Um, or by your insurance company as a licensed beauty professional, but it actually does not ensure a sensitivity-free experience. It does not ensure that over time and repeated exposures, like re repetitive visits to see you, that um, an allergy or a heightened sensitivity reaction won't 
happen. So do understand that patch tests might be required, and they are a safety precaution, and they're used in lots of different industries, but it is not the end game. It's not going to make sure that it's not going to ensure that you're scot free as far as your clients having reactions. So you do have to be in the know of what to do to minimize those reactions and what to do, how to answer your clients and help them out if they do ever get a sensitivity reaction. All right, welcome everyone. It's just five minutes past the hour and I tend to start just a few minutes late. That's why I wanted to have a little uh, pre-party trivia here so that we could um, keep you interested while I allowed people to trickle in the door. One more question here, will this be recorded? Yes, yes, yes. We're recording right now and this recording or replay will be available within about a half an hour after um, we're finished. And if there are any technical glitches with the recording, I certainly will re-record. Um, I had to do that with our first uh, volume um, effects secrets revealed webinar back in October because if any of you were here with me, um, I was using some fancy functions of arrows and highlighter pens and things like that on my slides and guess what happened? I forgot to turn the function off and I was progressing to new pictures, new slides and showing um, bullet points and stuff but everyone was seeing a frozen screen so I actually just re-recorded it. So um, never fear, even if this one does not take off and make a perfect recording, I will make sure that everyone who's registered gets sent a link. Um, with the recording. And we'll also post it on Facebook, etc. But I'll make sure it goes directly to your inbox. So welcome. I'm very excited about this morning and I hope that you are too. Um, how many of you out there are using our um, our question and answer or chat box? How many of you out there are already doing volume lashes? I, I love these responses. So excited to do that. Nic Nicole says, me, I'm doing them. Okay, great, perfect. Me, me, me. Um, awesome. If you're already doing volume lashes, you may have taken a formalized class or certification course in volume lashing. You may just have seen pictures and read about it on professional forums and chat rooms, and you might just be playing with it um, after seeing a little snippet of a video or uh, before and after pictures and asking leading questions of your colleagues in your profession. That's A-OK -okay as well. Um, this particular webinar is for everyone who's curious or who does volume lashing. Now, as you can see the logo in the top, I have a boot camp. I have a course for this. It's a six weeks, uh, a six week long online course. And we'll talk about that at the very end of the webinar, should you be interested. But regardless of whether you're interested in that class or not, this webinar is for everyone. Um, this particular webinar is a free mini training all about volume lashing. And I always, if you're one of my previous students, you know that I set a very clear intention when we um, present a video or a webinar or any kind of live event. And today's intention, isn't that picture beautiful and calming? I wish I was there. I'm in the desert. I wish I was there at the beach. Um, my intention today is to introduce the concept of volume effects lashes and to help you who may be new to the concept to discover why volume lashes is going to be really a major player in the beauty industry. It's going to be a force to be reckoned with in 2000. 2014 and 2015. It's very new right now. Consider yourself part of the first wave, the early adopters, maybe not the earliest, but you are still early adopters. Um, and it will also give you the opportunity at the end to learn and master this advanced technique. It is an advanced technique. It's not for beginners. However, knowing about volume lashing and playing with the concept and um, um, dabbling in it if you are a beginner lasher. It's not verbatim to do that. However, the courses that um, that you will be taking in them, I, I don't recommend if you're brand new to the eyelash industry or to the lash artistry profession, I don't recommend that you take a course at this time, but that you hone your skills and get just superiorly terrific at classic eyelash extensions before you uh, invest in continuing education for volume lashing. And there's a few reasons why. 
Um, a little bit about myself before we get really uh, deep into this. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jill Heiliger's Peliquin. That's my bit strip me, uh, my comic me uh, swinging from the chandeliers. I've been so excited the past few days about this upcoming webinar and the launch of my January uh, boot camp that I literally have been swinging from the chandeliers. I didn't sleep at all last night. I think I probably started to close my eyes really and truly about 345. So i just too excited about it. <laughs> I own Lash Effects, um, eyelash extension supplies. We're located online at www.lashfx.com. Um, we're here to serve you as an eyelash professional, be it questions about products or um, to buy affordable back bar professional products. And we only sell to licensed and formally trained lash professionals. I'm also the creative partner um, with a very dear friend of mine and a colleague who I respect enormously. Her name is El Ellie Melman, and uh, we are partners in a new venture called Lash Masterminds LLC, which you'll be hearing a lot about in 2014. In fact, every week in 2014, we're going to be releasing a new specially formulated, custom formulated for eyelash extension professionals product or reviewing an idea, or giving out a graphic that illustrates um, best practices. Every week in 2014, we're going to be releasing something um, for you as the professional to serve you in our industry. Since 2004, gosh, that seems like such a long time ago, um, 10 years can't believe it. Um, I've been a contributor online and a mentor to many professional beauty and spa forums like Wake Up in Your Makeup, um, also some massage therapy forums, and that was way, way back then, even before 2004. I mean, this is when computers were slow, guys. <laughs> I was up all night typing online and exchanging ideas and um, mentoring and being mentored by the best of the best in the massage industry. So I, I came to the beauty industry as a massage therapist. Um, back in the 80s. Um, I am an educator and a geek at heart. I have always been that girl who could reverse engineer an idea that I was, or a product that I was passionate about, and see whether it was better to reinvent the wheel and make it better, or to just understand the components of that wheel and explain it to someone else and give them a leg up, you know, to the next rung on the ladder of expertise. I love teaching, I love sharing, and I'm definitely a geek at heart, although I, I'm not as smart as the real geeks that I know. Um, since middle school, I have been, <laughs> I have been an entrepreneur. This was me, I was, um, 11 years old, I lived in Glendale, Arizona, and I learned how to macrame. For, I'm dating myself, of course, many of you are younger than me, but I learned how to macrame um, pot slings and window coverings and owls that were um, uh, hung on driftwood, hung on the walls. And as soon as I tweaked and perfected and came up with my own, you know, kooky style of these things, I started carrying them door to door and knock, 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 or ding dong, hi, I'm Jill, I live down the street, and I do macrame, and I can custom make one of these for you for four dollars. I have always been an entrepreneur. Um, I've never been afraid to reinvent myself or to throw myself into a new pool of information and um, swim around and taste and feel and look into it and see what it is out there um, to to enrich my life. So I hope that my enthusiasm for things like this is contagious for you as well. So how did I come to know about volume lashes? Well, very much like some of you out there. Um, I will answer that question in just a brief moment, but I also want to see the idea or the concept of volume lashes to do something very special for you as an individual as a professional lash artist, and for all of us together as a tribe, as a family or an industry of people that are passionate about lashes. Volume lashing, I'll tell you my first glimpse, my first um, moment of awareness of it was probably back in um, February of 2012. 
may have been a little later than some of you, may have been a little earlier than some of you, but I kept thinking with like kind of a, you know, doubting Thomas um, attitude, yeah, that's the same thing as V lashes or W lashes or this is just way too much weight we're putting on the lash. If we're all talking about lightening things up um, weight wise and not stressing out the lashes, we shouldn't be doing this. Yet I was drawn to the images and I was drawn to the people who were actually teaching it already in the world, telling us and showing us with pictures and very patient explanations how exactly this is different than what we do right now with classic eyelash extensions. And it's going to rock our worlds. If you haven't delved into volume lashing yet, when you do, you'll probably go through a myriad of, of emotions, but um, and some of them will be frustration <laughs> um, and elation. Uh, but you will also just, you'll have huge aha moments for your business and for our industry as a whole. Because not only is this very beautiful, but it is perfectly and absolutely customizable. You can give new lash designs that are truly bespoke for each client, literally like a tailored suit that is built to fit. I mean, every nook and cranny just so. You can customize to a degree that you have never done so before, and all the while creating these beautiful lash looks for your clients, you are going to be able to give them more comfort, more lashes a softness and a weightlessness that they have not experienced before as an eyelash extension wearer. And um, when I learned about them, I was skeptical, and then I warmed up to the idea, and then all of a sudden I just decided, boom, I need to throw down my, I'm flying overseas and I'm learning this. And I learned in mid-June of this last year, and I knew immediately that it had to be something that I would bring to my students from the Be an Amazing Lash Artist Project um, to other lash professionals out there. And I also knew that flying across the world to learn this was a loss of my time that I could have been at home with my family or um, been in town and nearby doing things for my business, my family, my friends. Um, it was also a very expensive endeavor, it, completely worth it, um, but it was a very expensive endeavor and I wasn't able to be at home to make my own income while I was away doing this. I would not trade that training experience for the world, but that training experience and the long, long flight home back to the U.S gave me a lot of time to think and write notes about online training. And online training, you see it advertised everywhere, guys. It is the wave of the future. Brick and mortar schools and universities may very soon be a thing of the past. Our cyber classrooms, such as in a webinar like this or in a private um, course structure, um, the, the possibilities are endless, what we can do with all of the beautiful software and the media that we can access out there. Well, I want to talk a little bit about um, classic lashes versus volume lashes, and it is not a competition between the two of them. As a professional, you can clearly offer both, um, but we do need to compare and contrast them. W when doing classic eyelash extensions, we can do three things very well. We can lengthen the lashes. We can curl, or instead of curl, I like to say shape um, the lashes. Or we can thicken the lashes. Or any kind of um, mixed degree or blended degree of those three things. We, we never want to take all three of those and bump them up to 150% because we will then actually damage our client's beautiful natural lashes and perhaps even damage their future growth of their eyelashes, uh, regardless of what eyelash serum they use. So we want to be careful. It's like, kind of like a, I always tell people to think of a stereo equalizer. You don't want to bring the bass up to maximum and the treble up to maximum and all those little um, dials and nuances that you can control. Some of them you want to highlight 
others you definitely want in the works and others you may not be they may not be high on your priority list for that particular client or that particular song that you're listening to so we can lengthen curl and shape or thicken the lashes but we are limited to the number of natural lashes we all know as lash professionals that we can only put one extended lash onto one natural lash, a perfectly isolated natural lash when we talk about classic lashes. So if a client comes to you and they have fewer lashes for whatever reason, maybe they rub, they had an allergy attack, or maybe it's just naturally occurring for them, maybe they have fewer lashes on the right eye than the left eye, you kind of have to play to the lower denominator with classic eyelash extensions. You can't lash that left full eye up to the maximum and then lash that right eye that has fewer lashes and then send them away happy because they're going to see the imbalance, you know, the um, the lushness of one eye and the less <laughs> lushness of another. So you have to kind of play to... The, the lower denominator instead of play to the higher denominator. So, but even with these limitations, and, and they are not, I'm not talking loserville. I love lash extensions. I know all of you do as well. We, we can actually achieve something that no multi-billion dollar beauty product company can promise on any glitzy magazine ad or gorgeous celebrity endorsed commercial. We can actually deliver perfectly separated, curly shaped, wonderful lashes um, that last with some touch-up appointments. And no mascara can deliver that. So classic lashes rock, but volume lashes they rock better, you guys. They really do. The benefits of volume lashing versus classic is that even if you're just putting on two lightweight lashes onto that one singular lash, the way we do things in volume lashing is that that one natural lash doesn't disappear into the fold. It's actually You're actually tripling the number of lashes because you're only adhering at the base and you'll see the amount of fluff and softness that you can create when using less adhesive and more lashes of a thinner nature. Um, they're still just as resilient. They're beautiful, flexible, black if that's what you like or brown if that's what you like. We can triple, we can quadruple, and even more, the number of perfectly curled lashes. So every mascara commercial, I just saw so many of them this last week when I was preparing for the webinar, and I, I just wanted to record them all for you and, and have a montage of these, you know, million lashes, billion lashes, volume lashes, lush lashes, lash blast, whatever. It's out there assaulting us, and we see those images in those commercials, and we want to buy all those mascaras, don't we? Because we want a billion lashes. Well, here you can really deliver, because no mascara can really deliver on those promises. If you are a volume seeker in the beauty industry, the consumer who is looking for a billion lashes, and there is a lot of them out there, um, you probably have four or five different formulations of mascara in your beauty kit, in your makeup bag. And none of them are exactly doing that job and staying with permanence or not making raccoon eyes, etc. Well, we're delivering with eyelash extensions and we're delivering better now with volume lashes. We're even delivering more comfort because we're going to use less adhesive than ever before. We're not stiffening the natural lash and the extension lash, which starts out very flexible. Um, we're not stiffening it by coating it in this acrylic resin anymore. We're using a minimal amount of adhesive, and we are giving them more lashes. So that feeling of stiffness or of a coating, even the feel of just a mascara coating, is eliminated virtually. These are weightless. I'm wearing eyelash extensions right now. I'm batting my eyes like crazy as I'm talking to you. I just got them touched up yesterday. I don't feel a thing on my eyes. They are weightless. And I've been wearing eyelash extensions for years. There's truly a difference in the way they feel, the way they wear, and definitely the way they look. Because volume effects lashes are virtually weightless and super flexible, 
they actually last longer as well. So when you perfect your new mad skills as a volume lash artist, you're going to be delivering benefits that you were never able to, even if you were an expert in your field of eyelash extensions the day before. These two graphics here are just going to give you an idea of why we can say they actually last longer. Um, I'm going to get out my little pointer here, <clears throat> my arrow, and I'm going to go ahead and choose a color. I'll choose bright pink. Um, on the left-hand side of your screen, you see a, an, a black circle that's labeled extension lash. This is your synthetic extension lash, and then a circle below it that says natural lash. That is the natural eyelash of the client. This blue area in between is the adhesive. And do you see how this is a cylindrical object, barely touching a cylindrical object? And this is a keratin hair and a plastic or you know Tupperware this lash made of PBT fiber they're not going to squish down together and form a flat bond all the way across here we only have a curve touching a curve and the little bit of adhesive whether we use thin or thick that will actually kind of um, fill in a little bit of the gap in between so to get a strong bond we have to actually dip our eyelash extension further into our adhesive so that we're taking away the flexibility of the synthetic lash, that perfect lash that we're using, and we're coating our natural lash as we marry those two lashes together with that acrylic coating as well. So we're sacrificing all kinds of flexibility by elongating the lashes for our clients. But with volume lashes, here's the same cross section, but we have just three, um, 3D or three effects, three synthetic 0.07 diameter lashes, and this is just a cross section, so you're not seeing the sweep of the long eyelash here. This is a cross section. Um, three of these in a fan, and the one natural lash. And the 0.07 lashes, actually, this is not a gross exaggeration here. They are often actually thinner than some natural lashes that you will come across. But if you see the blue here, this is, represents the adhesive, it becomes a matrix that actually goes completely around almost half in this particular illustration, half of the circumference of that cylindrical natural lash, and gushes in between the natural lash and this extension, the natural lash and this extension, in between these two extensions, in between the natural lash and this one. Do you get the point? You're completing a matrix of a bond, and you're not dipping these lashes way into the adhesive. You're only dipping in about a millimeter or two, a very, very little amount of adhesive, and you're adhering to the base, the strongest part of the natural lash. And this is how we can prove to ourselves that they are actually going to preserve the flexibility and the you know, the, the easy moving nature of our natural lashes. I'm going to erase the drawings and take this pen off so I can switch the screen here now. And when we talk about the weight of the lashes, it's not the same thing as the diameter of the lashes. And this is a mistake that I made fervently on online <laughs> forums. I just couldn't get that 7 plus 7 plus 7 did not equal to more weight than a 0 0.20 lash. I mean, you do the math with me. 7 plus 7 plus 7, that's 21, 0.21. But when you put the lashes together and they round over or curve over the natural lash, they are actually bonding more securely. And when you weigh them, they actually do not weigh more than 1.20 lash. And we can trust with proof, with scientific proof, that volume lashing is actually less damaging to the natural lash than classic eyelash extensions. And here's how we can prove it. These are weights and measures done on one brand of lashes. It happens to be prime silk lashes this time, and all of them were a C-curl, all of them were a 12 millimeter. This was done with the utmost um, care to 
adhering to the scientific process. And scientific process, when you're weighing things and you're um, coming up with uh, definitive weights and measures, you have to weigh the same thing 10 times over because there will be a little bit of a degree of variance and then you have to average it out. So this is the weight of one single lash. We have the weight of 1.20 diameter lash. It weighs hardly anything, right? But when we coat it with adhesive because it's kind of a fat lash, that's our, that was our volume lash before. That gave a thick lash look there, a mascara lash look. When we dip a thick lash into our adhesive, we pull up a larger adhesive load as well, and that also bears weight. So we're dealing in thousandths and ten thousandths of a gram, just barely an angel's whisper, you know, honestly, very lightweight stuff. 1.20 lashes weighs 30, 10, Three one thousandths of a gram, or thirty, yeah, ten thousandths of a gram. One point one eight diameter lash, which is now a very popular diameter of lashes, weighs point zero 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 two five grams. One point one five diameter lash. I think you get the point. They each weigh less and less and less. Point oh 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 one five grams. A point one two diameter lash weighs point oh 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 1.3 grams, a 0 0.10 diameter lash. Hey, when eyelash extensions first came out, guys, there were only 0 0.10 lashes in a J curl. We have come a long way. We have J's, B's, C's, CC's, D's. We have O lashes. We have lift lashes, L lashes. We have everything, and we have all these diameters and more. We have higher diameters and, and uh, lower diameters than even what's shown on the screen here. But 1.10 diameter lash in that C curl 0 0.20 weighs 0 0.00010 grams. And then one of our volume lashes, the 0 0.07 diameter lashes, weighs 0 0.00006 grams. So now if you do the math weighing the weight, the heaviness of a lash, you can see very easily that 5.07 lashes, 7 times 5, okay, it, that's called a 5D, a 5 dimension, or a 5 effects. If you're you know, dealing with me, I call them effects. That weighs the same as 1.20 lash. So if your client has nice and healthy lashes, you can put 5.07 lashes onto that healthy lash and still have less wear and tear because you're going to use less adhesive and you're not going to be diminishing the flexibility of the natural lash. Pretty amazing. And the better longevity, there you have six lashes, the natural lash plus five of those 0 .10, 0 0.07 lashes there together, holding court, fluffing out that lash line. Can you imagine? Remember way back when, when we first learned eyelash extensions and we learned that 40 lashes per eye was a full set? Multiply that times five. That becomes 200 lashes per eye if you were, to, if you were able to put 5.07 lashes on 40 select natural lashes. Pretty amazing. <clears throat> four of the 0.07 lashes, a 4D or 4FX um, um, lash enhancement, weighs less than 1.18 lash. And 0.18s are rocking the lash world right now. They're a great weight to use. They have the oomph and the black presence of those 0.20s, but less weight. 3.07 lashes, or 3 effects, weighs barely more than 1.15 diameter lash. And 2.07 lashes, or 2 effects, or 2D, weighs less than 1 0.12 lash. This is amazing. And we're using less adhesive. And we're giving them more of what they really desire, which is more plentiful, voluminous lashes. We are so lucky that this has come along. Honestly, this is a game changer for us. This is exciting, exciting news. So how is it done? 
how do you create such a rich, voluminous, but soft and lightweight look? Well, there is a trick to it. There are many tricks to it. I love to show photos. Uh, while you may not think that my volume lash work is um, the same as yours or same as some that you have seen on advertisements for, um, for other people, this is what I call a wearable. Uh, volume look. This is very soft. This is elegant. You can see this gal here. I'm going to zoom in on my pictures with my touch screen so you can see. She has um, very like Celtic uh, origin um, uh, um, complexion. She's, she's a natural redhead, beautiful coppery golden redhead. Um, she has light brown eyelashes. They flare out to the outer corners naturally, which is really beautiful and, and lovely to work with. Um, I can't overpower her with a deep, dark, dense 6D look or 6 effects look. Um, it simply would just be scary to see those eyelashes walk into the room three weeks before the rest of her does, and she's a beautiful, uh, a beautiful woman. Here she is, a bird's eye view of uh, the right and left eye after the work and before I removed my next care tape at the bottom, and then there's also a close up of each of the individual eyes there, and you can see the fluff and the separation. And then here is a view with her eyes open immediately after I um, pulled off all of the taping, etc., and let her take a look in the mirror. And she's holding the mirror and looking at herself right then, getting her first glimpse as I'm actually um, taking that photo. And she would never, ever have that many lashes visible on her lash line, and that soft but luscious a look if she had mascara on, even Dior show. Even the most expensive million or billion dollar lash mascara out there. And I could never have done this to her with classic extensions. She would have looked lovely with classic extensions. But one of the great things about this, too, is when you look at these, um, this thicket, this forest of very thin, flexible lashes here, when we're doing volume lashing, it's very fluffy. And they're spread out in various degrees. Some of the fans or the bouquets are spread out more than others, and um, areas where her natural lashes grow more densely, I close the fans just a little bit. Um, areas where they don't grow as densely, I widen the fans so that they actually hold court and um, spread their presence from right to left a little bit more so that we can create a more balance in the natural lash line. So we apply two, three, four, sometimes five and six, believe it or not, fanned out lashes to one single perfectly isolated natural lash. And this is why I say, this is the first reason why I say that volume lashing is definitely for the advanced or alpha lash artist. You have to be very comfortable with a variety of circumstances hitting you in your chair with a variety of clients to be able to do this very, very well because isolation is key. And knowing how much you can push the amount of lashes uh, versus the length of lashes versus the degree of curl of those lashes, that is an expert's decision-making process. It's not for the faint of heart. It's not for a beginner. Here's just a montage of those, you know, mascaras, the, the mascara assault <laughs> that I had over this last week. It's so funny when you become, um, when you put something on your radar, like I knew my webinar was coming up, and so uh, lashes, lashes, lashes. My lash appointment was yesterday. My world was about lashes, and all of these commercials and images were just hitting me online, even on the right-hand ticker part of the Facebook page, um, commercials from my favorite shows, etc. Who wouldn't want a million lashes? Who wouldn't want Eva Longoria's beautiful lashes? Who wouldn't want lashes like this gal on the right-hand side where it says get volum voluminous separated lashes? Well. They're advertising a mascara, aren't they? But that is not a mascara on those models. That's strip lashes to give the effect 
of what they're promising. No real girl out there is going to get that effect. How sad. But we will deliver it. That's why we are in business, and that's why we are the experts we are. Well, when we do um, volume effects lashing, we can use a variety of multi-lash pickup techniques. You may have seen some of them online. You may have seen short video snippets of someone using their, uh, their favorite tweezers picking up the lashes, but you pick them up in a little sand shape or manually with your fingers or your tools that you're using, fan them out. You dip the end um, of the bouquet the, the base end of the bouquet into just a minimal, minimal amount of adhesive and you press it into place and voila, you've got the multi-lash pickup and placement of volume lashing. And you can use pretty much any shape of tweezer really to get the, the job done. As long as your tweezer is tuned so that it meets perfectly and so that you approach the lashes perfectly so that you don't um, tweak them apart or split those those bouquets apart and that's one of the tricks to to volume lashes is how to do that effectively and with less frustration um, than happens in the beginning. I have to tell you guys I've told my students this, I've told my friends this, but in my volume class in June I was cussing like a sailor. Thank goodness the other people in the room were very forgiving of me because I I, I was so frustrated I thought of myself as a master lash artist, a master lash educator, and it was so difficult for me to wrap my head around doing things differently and not wanting to, to, to rest on what I call like my tried and true ways, what I have known for years to work. That was so frustrating. Oh, yeah. I have to apologize over and over again for my behavior in that class, but it was actually funny, and the girls laughed, so thank, thank, I'm very thankful for their, their senses of humor. But you can use various adhesives as well. You can, uh, in fact, every instructor that I know of uses a different adhesive at this point. So there are many adhesives that you can get successful volume bonds with. So the concept of volume lashing. We all know it's ridiculously simple. You take two, three, four, five, or six beautiful thin volume lashes in a fanned out shape, use minimal amount of adhesive, and place it on one single isolated lash. The concept is simple. It's very, very simple. Well, <laughs> it's not the concept that's the problem. It's the mastery of volume lashing that drives people crazy at first. Getting out of your own way, somebody who is an advanced lash artist, you're pretty set in your ways. You know what works. You know what flexibility you need to have in different unique situations. You have your tried and true bag of tricks that you do to have success, whether it's a super humid day or a super dry day or a super cold day or a super hot day whether you've got a client with um, difficult um, hair cuticles, all those variables, you know what to do. But in volume lashing, you have to get out of that old way of thinking because this is different. And we have to behave different. And that's what drives the professionals nuts. Um, that's what makes us, all of us, it cuts our self-esteem off at the knees and makes us feel like noobs all over again. It really and truly does. So really, the point of this whole thing is, what's the secret? The secret. What's the secret? How long does it take to really get good at this? After you understand it and after you have practiced it a little bit, when is it going to look awesome? And when is it going to last, you know, one or two weeks longer in between visits to touch up than your regular sets? What is the secret? The secret is really super simple. It is exactly like the secret to permanent and healthy weight loss. The secret is train hard or go home. And I'll just let that sink in. It is the concrete truth. You will have to, no matter how experienced you are as a lash artist, you will have to train and practice this. This is not like using a new line of makeup 
for your makeup applications. This is not like learning a new facial in a one-day course and then relying on the fact that if you just do the steps in the correct order with the correct appliances and the correct serums or um, lotions or, uh, you know, um, toners, etc., that you're going to get the results promised, that the products are going to do it for you. You have to rely on your expertise in this new mad skill to deliver what it promises to your clients who maybe have been with you for a very long time. So this is something that, oh, I guess I didn't turn the ringer off. There we go. Did not turn the ringer off on the phone. I apologize. I turned it off in the other room, but not in this one. Um, you're going to have to deliver based on experience. And the only way to get the experience so that you can guarantee your work is through time. Time in the training seat. And this is like a professional athlete. I talk about this all the time to people who will listen to me for any length of time. You know, LeBron doesn't just show up for the game and make all that money. He doesn't just show up. He simply trains hard. He trains with a Pilates instructor. He trains with, uh, gosh, he trains with a um, maybe a running coach. He trains with a flexibility coach. He does drills over and over again before he shows up for the game. For us, the game is the client who's in our seat. We can't practice on them. I mean, yes, we can. We can practice on them, but we have to practice within that time frame, and we still have to, de to deliver the results that they are coming back to us for. So training is separate than your work. And if you're a busy professional, that's kind of hard to wrap your mind around, and it's hard to get out of your own way and to set up dedicated practice for lashes. You must do it. It will not work any other way. You have to train. You can't dabble. You can't try. Dedicated practice is what it takes. And you have to get out of your own head. That's, this is the biggest hurdle for many, many um, of the lash artists out there. It really and truly is. Um, getting out of your own way of those tried and tested things that you do to solve your problems, they will be different. But once you embrace them for volume lashing, they will become, you know, your, your second nature as well. So once you get out of your own head and get out of your own way, you will be fine. And you also have to have a, a series of little new tricks in your bag of tricks, new frustration-free techniques so that if this one's not working today, what do I do on that super humid day to make it work? What if, you know, it's super cold and dry and we've got the heater on and now my adhesive is behaving differently, but I still have to get this volume bouquet to stick just right and I still have to do the appointment within a certain amount of time. We don't just want to have, we don't want to be a one-note Johnny. We don't want to be a cookie-cutter performer here. We want to be a field expert. So you need to have a series of frustration-free techniques at your disposal that you know how to do and when to pull them out. You need to document your training sessions so that you know what to change and you know what works when things do begin to change and you're searching for the answers for yourself. It's called journaling. And um, in massage therapy, we called it soap notes. Um, in the medical industry, they call it soap notes. You can call it documenting. You can call it journaling, client intake and client um, info. Uh, files. But if you document your training sessions with photos as well as notes to yourself on how that session went, um, how easy it was, how challenging it was, etc., and why, and what the conditions are, you'll learn so much faster. Your learning curve will actually um, lean out and you will learn faster. And to have a mentor available, someone who's like your field guide that helps you, you know, see the sites, navigate your way through the jungle, that gives you tips and also critiques your training as you're moving through all the little, you know, hurdles and all the little landmarks of, of mastering this, that is also very, very valuable. So doing a class in volume lashing is priceless. They are expensive, whether you fly like me across the globe to attend a class, whether someone flies to you from across the globe. You have to pay for 
that valuable, valuable knowledge, and it's not cheap. But we are the early adopters, and we are going to be the ones that set this industry now on a new channel. We're going to see a difference between the alpha lashers and the ordinary lashers. We're going to see the cream rising to the top. We're going to see people actually making more income than other people and having more uh, word of mouth referral than other people who actually do beautiful work, but they do it differently. They adopt the new innovative techniques like volume lashing and take it and take it and run. That is why 2014 could really be a landmark banner year for you. So guys, it's boot camp time. I mean, honestly, um, if you don't boot camp with me, get yourself to a volume course, whether it's online or in person, whether you fly to it or you have someone fly to you, get yourself to a volume course if you haven't taken one. I have people in my um, that are alumni of my first uh, go round of volume boot camp back in October of this last year who have taken three and four different volume courses because there's so many nuances to how to do it. So many uh, little techniques and tips that could help you so wonderfully. They want to know it all and they want to have all those tricks and tips and they're, li they're literally paying dearly for that bag of tricks from all those different sources to be in their pockets because they are ready and poised to be the best in the industry. So do take a volume class. My boot camp is going to start Monday, January 20th. Okay, it's very soon. It's going to be six weeks of drills, exercises, videos, live online office hours, and personal coaching. And it's only for licensed professional lash artists, and it's only for alpha lashers. This is not a course for beginners. I would love for any of the beginners of you out there to attend every one of my webinars and to get excited about what's new in the industry, to know how to talk about it, to know how to um, uh, play with it and dabble in it, and then when you're ready, when you are really feeling expert, you know, in your own field to, to go for the course. It begins this coming Monday, January 20th, and it is not a set time and date like this webinar. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, new content will be delivered to a members-only password-protected website, and that's where we show our videos, where we do questions and answers, etc. and we will utilize live um, media streams such as Google Hangouts and um, live webinars for our live office hours, even though they'll be online, because some of you will be in Australia, some of you will be in England, some of you will be in Canada, some of you will be in Arkansas, some of you will be in California. We have to be able to um, work with everyone, so the online platform is perfect for that. Our course, the six weeks customized instruction is $1,197, and we're going to use a variety of media on our online platform. We're going to use high-definition video. We're going to use high-definition photographs. We're going to use webinars, just like we're doing today. We're going to do personal and private coaching calls. We're going to do small group masterminds. We're going to do drills and all kinds of things between January 20th and February 28th to get you on your way to being a field expert with volume lashes. There will be no traveling to and from your, you know, from your course. It's all online for you to access whatever time zone or whatever your schedule commitments are. If you need to study at 11 o'clock at night, that's when you'll attend volume boot camp. If you want to do it at 5.30 in the morning before the kids get up for school, that's when you'll do it. If you want to save it all up and do it on your vacation week or a three-day weekend like we have coming up here, go for it. It's how you want to do it. The content never, ever goes away. The actual live streaming of the class and adding of content will go away, and it will um, then uh, not will go away, but will stop, you know, as far as new info goes. But you will always have access to your archived videos, your downloads, your graphics, etc. cetera. Um, there'll be no lost income when you're doing your class or your continuing education. And you'll get some really cool bonuses. The bonus gift that I'm offering 
for this session. The first one is an all-inclusive Be an Amazing Lash Artist membership. And that's a $497 value. That is a continuing education course in itself. Very valuable for any lash artist, whether you're in your first or your eighth year of lashing. It'll help you to feel expert and committed and in control as a lash artist. And whenever you're a BALA member, you get access to me unlimited for coaching calls. All we have to do is find a time and day that works with both of our schedules. And we can do it via phone via text, via Skype, via uh, um, Uvu video chat or Google Hangouts, however we like to do it. If you are already a Be an Amazing Lash Artist member, then this course is not $1,197 for you. Um, I will be sending all of my BALA members an email tonight. And if you are already, as of this very moment, um, a BALA member, if you use the code BALA14, B-A-A-L-A -A -A is all in caps, 1-4, you'll receive $600 off. So you'll receive more than a 50% scholarship on the volume boot camp that we're doing right now. This is only for BALA members, so please don't use that code if you're not because it will be double checked. And if you use the code and you're not a BALA member, already as of this very moment, then your enrollment and your um, your form will be um, canceled and you'll have to redo it uh, for, for the regular price. Bonus gift number two is a volume effects by Lash Effects starter kit and it's a $250 value. This is not just the mamby pamby weird little things that you got in your first kit. Um, it's actually very useful and we'll show you a couple of the contents and a list of the contents here. But um, the BALA project is on the same website as our volume effects boot camp. Sorry about the phone, guys. Someone is trying to get a hold of me, but I cannot turn this particular phone off for some reason. So um, I'll just catch it real fast and, and turn it off. But um, uh, it's all done on thelashlife.com, thelashlife.com. And you'll have your own password. And if you are a member of the Volume FX Boot Camp, you will automatically be privy to the volume effects information there. This is the contents of your, um, your boot camp bonus kit. You will have, this is sent to everyone who enrolls, whether you enrolled uh, before this webinar or whether you enroll afterwards, whether you're a BALA member and you're going to you know, enroll now using your discount code, etc. You'll receive a 10 milliliter volume effects adhesive, and you may use any adhesive, but uh, this is just a bonus gift for you, from me to you. Um, you're going to receive five trays of volume effects mink series 0.07 lashes. They'll be um, individual size trays, so you'll receive a series of sizes, um, five of them. You'll receive a uh, number six SA volume tweezer. That's pictured in the lower right-hand image here. Um, in that picture where I'm at work. Um, and you'll receive a flat back mannequin head, kind of will take you back to the early days when you were uh, in school. Um, you'll also, you'll, you'll want to use that, especially if you're studying at 11 o'clock at night and you don't have a live model available then. Um, you'll receive a lash primer, you'll receive a gel remover, uh, a 25 count pack of mini mascara spoolies, which are my favorite mascara spoolies to use for volume lashing, and other assorted disposable applicators. All of this is must have must use products, not this particular brand. Of course, you may use any brand, and we will freely discuss any brand in the class, but this is the, uh, the kit that I'll send to you as a bonus. All those items, lashes, um, the Volume Bridge uh, will be a great favorite tool, I know. Um, it's wonderful. It'll help you to speed up your applications in no time. Um, the Flatback Mannequin Head will be useful for drills where you don't use a live model. And um, all of those other things will be, you won't be um, using those supplies from your professional back bar unit to do your studying. So we're ready to launch. Let's do this. The order form is live today, and it will be live until 9 a.m. my time, which is Mountain Standard Time, not Pacific Time, not Central, not um, Eastern, but 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on Monday, 
January 20th. That is when all of the emails with the logins and the passwords and um, the how to navigate the site and let's get started stuff goes out. So the, um, the order form is live and I'll show you the link to it, but I want to invite you to ask questions at this point uh, about our webinar or about volume lashing in general if you like. Um, even about the bonuses, if you like. Um, I'll stay on the line for up to a half an hour for these live questions, but I am going to just change the screen right now to show you the link um, to our order form. You can copy and paste this link if you like, uh, or you can just click on it on the video or click on it on your screen right now, and it will take you to the order form and you'll still hear me uh, <laughs> on the webinar for the for the Q&A. So also I want to thank you for your time. I know your time is valuable and you could have done a valued client during the timing of this webinar. I super thank you for showing up and being here. I'm very, very glad that you were here. Um, I still am getting questions about recording. Yes, this has been recorded all along. Within a half an hour of being done, I am going to um, actually have the recording uh, set and available, and then you will all receive an email that has a link to the recordings in case you want to, in case you had to cut out early or you weren't able to be here live, etc., and you want to see it. Um, someone's saying, I'm taking a class in LA on Monday. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, someone says, I use your lashes, but I use Nova Lash Adhesive right now. Will this work? Yes, absolutely. You do not have to use my adhesive to do volume lashing. This is a good choice. It's an excellent choice, but you can use any adhesive. And during the class, I will show you all the nuances, all the t uh, tips and tricks that you need to discover not if your adhesive is good for this, but how to work with your adhesive so that it is good for volume lashing. Because almost any adhesive is good for volume lashing, except for sensitive formulas. They're just too weak. They're too weak for anything, really. Um, someone's saying, oh, it's snowing here. I wish I was there. <laughs> OK, let's see. Someone says, client is here, I'm listening in. Please share any or all comments. And I certainly will. I'll have some follow-up emails to all of you, and I'll answer some of the questions that we don't get to here. Um, I am, that was from a dear client, customer, uh, an alumni. Uh, someone lost connection. I'm so sorry about that. I hope you got it back. Um, the replay may be key for you. Um, someone says here, do you sell a light or can you recommend a good one? I don't sell a light to lash by, but I can recommend um, a, a, fa a fabulous one. It's called Glamcore, G-L-A-M-C-O-R, and they're on the web. They even have YouTube videos of how to set them up. They're beautiful, high-definition um, LED lighting. Um, you will see your client's beautiful face and skin and lashes and brows like you have never seen them before with the appropriate lighting and the appropriate eye magnification. And that is definitely key in any one of our services. Someone had to dash because their client was here. Yes. Um, here's a good question because they're, they're talking about the uh, one of the bonus products, the uh, Be an Amazing Lash Artist project membership. And they said, how does Bala differ from Wake Up In Your Makeup? Well, Wake Up In Your Makeup is a, a forum where a lot of beauty professionals and even some people who are just um, enthusiasts go and exchange ideas um, or read other people exchanging ideas about eyelash extensions and also permanent makeup, which was its original um, purpose uh, for Wake Up In Your Makeup. Um, that's all in written format. We do have a forum that is only for our members. Not, no one can see what we're talking about, what we're asking about. It's a super safe place for you to share photos of your work, for you to share video if you want to, for me to share video with you, and all of the news, the uh, the lessons in our volume boot camp, etc. Um, so it is different in that it's a forum on steroids. Um, I embed 
videos so that you could just click and play them as you are logged on. And I also have high definition links that you can click onto that will just kind of, you know, pop up even larger and in more high def on your screen uh, for each and every video. Um, it's not just discussion, but it is also coaching and mentoring as well as the videos and the discussions. And here is the beauty about um, the Be an Amazing Lash Artist project and, as a matter of fact, of Volume Bootcamp is that it is living and breathing. It's flexible. Um, I'm nursing that and attending that multiple times a day, answering questions, um, tweaking things in the way that I teach to meet your own challenges. I may have two or three people who uh, are left-handed and are having a unique challenge. I may have two or three people that live in uh, a different climate um, than, than the others are experiencing and are um, experiencing what I would consider atypical um, you know, challenges. Um, I can tweak and I can customize and I can be flexible and elastic. Uh, whatever you guys need, I can deliver to you. I can make a video on demand. I could, I, I did it this last time, I made two or three videos for specific members in the group and I published them right on the forum and on our membership website so that everyone could benefit from that same question or that same challenge, etc. And believe it or not, everyone does eventually ask the same questions. They just ask them from their own unique point of view and in their own lingo. But uh, whether you ask it today or you ask it two weeks from today, um, we can cover all our bases that way. And I love the flexibility of the online classes that way. I do have a syllabus. I do have a plan. Um, but I often will vary from it because that's the direction that the attendees are taking me. I don't want you to say, well, I just wish she would go back and answer the one question, the burning question I have. She's just on this syllabus track. Nope, it's more flexible than that. Will it be recorded? Yes, it will be recorded. Let's see. Okay, after you get amazing at doing volume lashing, how long would you say it takes to do a full set? Is it the same amount of time as doing a classic set? The answer is yes and no, and that's an excellent, excellent question. If you are to lash every single lash in the client's available natural lashes, it may take you about 20 to 30 minutes longer than a regular set. But when you think about it this way, if one of your average full sets is 80 lashes per eye, that's a really beautiful amount of lashes. If you place 80 singular lashes, you know what that looks like already. But if you put three effects, an average of three, some of them you'll put two, some of them you'll put three, maybe some places you'll put four effects. But if you do an average of three effects and you still just lash 80 natural lashes, you have quadrupled the amount of lashes and the fullness and the volume of that client's lashes. So you're still just placing 80 lashes. That takes you the same amount of time. It is in mastering the volume lash pickup and um, the pressing into place that you would do your training on, but you would be able to do your work in the same amount of time um, or less. So then, honestly, if you're going to fill up a client's lash line and putting more than that is not good for their look or not appropriate for their age um, or their complexion, their coloration or the style, uh, the lifestyle they lead, um, you could do fewer lashes and work in less time and fit more clients in. So I'm sorry, but the answer is yes and no. Um, but I, I recently did a uh, full set, a redo on one of my regular lash models. Um, I just cleaned off her lashes completely and I did it um, uh, as uh, film footage for this particular boot camp and um, did it in 90 minutes and that was, her, uh, the appointment was 90 minutes from her saying hello and coming in, my cleaning, etc. and from her getting up and putting her shoes on. It was 90 minutes so that's pretty good for a full set and it was about 95 lashes per eye that I put on her. She has very small eyes. She was the, the redhead that you saw here in, this, um, in those pictures earlier. Uh, what is the Bala discount again? It is, I will put it in the chat here for all of you to see. 
please do not use this if you're not a current BALA member now because it will not be effective and your enrollment will not go through. But it is capital B-A-A-L-A-1-4, -A -A you know, all together, no spaces in between. And that will give my BALA and Lash Mastery members $600 off of this particular boot camp. Um, here's more questions. Um, let's see. What if I can't attend on the first day? That is not a problem. This is, the online platform allows you to play catch up as you need to. Um, for some people, they'll want more, much more quickly. So that's why I customize things and I tell you, you have access to me all the time to ask me further questions. I will give you further work. I will help you to move ahead if you have time you know, to just dive in and to immerse yourself uh, into this course. But if you're busy and if you only have Thursdays off and your schedule is hectic until then, that's okay. You, It's online for a reason because the class is not show up on Monday at 8.45. We start at 9 o'clock sharp. We break for lunch at 12.30. We will break for a coffee break at 3.30 and we'll end at 7 p.m. It's not structured like that. The online platform is accessible to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and the customization of this class makes it even more brilliant. Do you have to refrigerate your adhesive and how long does it last typically? So I think they're asking that because they're probably, you know, I showed the picture of our volume effects adhesive. None of uh, the adhesives that I sell at Lash Effects um, should ever be refrigerated. When we send them to you, you may be experiencing very cold weather right now. Um, your adhesive will not be ruined or spoiled. We put them in uh, weatherproofing um, reflector bubble bags to send to you, and they still will get cold. But as long as you let them come to room temperature just gradually, just as anything that you brought in from the car might you know, get really chilly in your weather, um, just let it come to temperature uh, and you do not put it in the refrigerator in between uses. Never, ever refrigerate any cyanoacrylate adhesive after you open it and use it. Because every time you dispense a drop of adhesive from your little bottle, the bottle <gasps> breathes in or aspirates air. And the air around us has hydrogen in it. Remember our trivia question in the beginning? It's hydrogen that cures the adhesive. So if you're letting hydrogen into the bottle each and every time you dispense a drop, each and every client that you're working on that you're going to dispense drops of adhesive with, you're going to eventually create a humid atmosphere, a more humid atmosphere inside the bottle. And that adhesive will gradually age because of that. But then if you put it in the refrigerator, because you let air in the bottle, condensation is going to form, just like on any um, Ziploc baggie of food or Tupperware um, or plastic container of food does in the refrigerator. Condensation forms, and that's moisture, and that's going to age and solidify your adhesive. So no refrigeration ever needed. Just keep it in, I call it, you know, ambient temperatures. If you're happy in that room, that adhesive is happy in that room. If it's a little too cold over the weekend or over your days off, just Tuck your adhesive into your jeans pocket or into the the cup of your bra for five minutes. You know, let it kind of warm up near your body temperature, and then you shake it, shake it. It's perfect once again. A couple other product questions here. I'll answer those really quickly because I, I do want to get to the other questions that are about volume lashing. I don't want this to be a sales call about products as well, although you have my undivided attention on Facebook, via phone, etc. Do you have the 0 0.10 weight um, comparisons to classics? I did in that, um, in that, that's, uh, I'll find it right now, in the 0 0.10 lashes was shown in the list of measurements. Let me show you this. Oh, that's my mistake. Sorry, guys. Went right back to the beginning. There we go. Oh, lordy. I guess it just automatically goes back to the beginning. I thought I could just 
skip to it. So I'll click through and show you. If any of you are dashing off to do work, to be with family or clients, thank you so much for attending. Uh, the recording will catch all of this, and we'll be sending this out to you so you won't miss a thing. Um, you'll see the .10 diameter lash. The measurement is there. So if you were to do volume lashing with .10 lashes, and yes, that is done, um, you can just do the math. Two .10 diameter lashes would be somewhere in between a .15 and a .18 lash. Three of them would be just about as heavy weight-wise as a 0.20 diameter lash. However, overall, still less weight because you'll be using less adhesive. So thank you for that question. You can use this chart for comparisons. Um, you can take a screenshot of it if you like. Some On some computers, you'll see in the upper right-hand corner a little camera icon, and you can take a screenshot of that if you want to, or when you get the replay, you can. When will your next class be held? I can't attend this one. Um, that is no problem. We'll have it a, just about quarterly. Um, I don't announce the dates until I'm really good and ready to devote the time to, um, you know, wading in hip deep with everyone for the class. So um, uh, this one is January. I'm thinking maybe um, uh, late March or early April we may do the next one. Okay. Uh, you said that you only sell to licensed professionals. I'm licensed. Um, fantastic. All you need to do on the order form is just put your licensing information. Licensed cosmetologists and licensed estheticians who are formally trained in eyelash extensions may purchase this course or may purchase products from me as well, which was what your question was about. And thank you. You said you heard great things. I do hope so. That would be great. Um, do I recommend any brand of mag specs? Um, I'll write in the little um, chat box to you all. There is a company called Prestige. Um, I believe it's called Prestige Electric. And uh, it's actually a, an electrolysis um, company. Uh, if you put that in your Google bar, Prestige Electrolysis or PrestigeElectric.com, you'll come up to them. That's who I buy my Magnus Specs from. Um, we, uh, I sell one um, at Lash Effects, a very affordable one, but my favorite tool is the Magnus Specs. It doesn't have any lights on them, and I, I use the uh, 5 diopter. It's not five times magnification, but it's a five diopter. Diopters have to do with uh, where your sweet spot is distance-wise to magnify and clarify your view. I'm not so interested, quite honestly, in magnifying the lashes ten times before my eyes. I'm interested in looking at those lashes and being able to work with them in high-definition vision. So I use a diopter glass, and I get mine from Prestige Electrolysis. Great question. Uh, let's see. We have some more questions here. This one always gets asked. I love it, love it, love it. Can you do volume lashes on everyone? Yes. Volume lashing is so customizable. It is such a fresh idea, guys, that you can, I'm going to put up the, uh, the last tile here while I'm talking to you and answering that question. So you have the link to the order form if you should like to join us. This is the website, the Lash Life, the Lash Life where you will join us for logging in. Oh, golly. I want to go to the Bala project. There we go. Um, but yes, it's for everybody, and the reason why it's for everybody is because it's perfectly customizable. If you only want to put singular lashes on some of the lashes and then volume lashes to branch out and fill gaps, um, or if you have someone who literally comes to you in, lash, in dire need of lash repair and lash rehab, and you cannot in good conscience put you know, 0 0.15, 0 0.18 lashes on them. You could put the 0.07 lashes on them and build a bridge and build a repair bridge. We'll talk about building those structures in the course as well. It is for everybody. It's for men and women. Um, it can be completely natural or completely glammed out. 
Um, I, I know many of you have seen online pictures of um, some of the Russian artists and the gold medalists work and it's very dense and it's, it's still very fluffy and soft but it's really black and it's very opaque looking. That's not for everybody. That's a beautiful poster advertising beautiful work of course but it may not be the wearable version of volume lashing for this particular client that you're looking at. So you can customize it. It is for everybody, literally. We have brown lashes, there are black lashes, there are light brown, there are dark brown lashes. Um, you can use them together, etc. Uh, and super customize the look. I'll take one more question and then I will go through these questions later and answer any of them that I didn't get to in a follow-up email to all of you. Um, Oh, someone said, ah, oh. <laughs> that was really sweet. One of my alumni giving me some words of encouragement about the webinar and about how they enjoyed the last class. Thank you so much, Pamela Sanders. She's a, an awesome lash artist. Do volume lashes suit every eye shape? They absolutely do, Sylvia. Um, they absolutely do because of the customization. Uh, you also asked, do you know if the course is accredited in the UK for insurance purposes or will it be covered under my individual semi-permanent insurance? That is an excellent question and you should ask your insurance company. You are already licensed to do eyelash extensions. This is no different than the classic one-to-one -one eyelash extensions that you already do. So you should be covered, but I can't really speak for your insurance company or your governing bylaws, so please investigate that on your own. It's, um, I'm not trying to pass the buck, but I just can't keep up with all of the different states and all of the different countries' requirements and then insurance policies as well. Um, it, in my mind, it should be absolutely um, covered because you're not doing anything different. We're not using any different products except for a lighter lash. Um, that's all we're doing. So it is not an accredited um, course. In fact, it's not a licensing course either, guys. You'll see on the terms on the order form itself if you want to investigate. It is, um, we're not a licensing entity. Um, we are a training entity and this is continuing education for the lash professional. All right, thank you guys so much for attending and sticking with me through this long webinar. I hope it was useful for you. Uh, write me back. My email is jill at gilbertbodyworks.com. If you want me to follow up on any questions that you think of later, I'll put this in the chat box. And I'll be emailing all of you a link to the recorded replay. Go and have a great day. Lash long and prosper.